Okay, only me. Um, I thought I'd do a little video of me setting up the timing, the ignition timing on my Yamaha FS1E. Um, so apparently, according to my little Haynes book, the ignition should fire um, 1.8 millimeters before top dead center. So when the piston comes up, 1.8 millimeters before top dead center, it should fire. Um, and this is how I'm checking that we're set up okay on here. So the way I do it, um, not saying it's right, I'm not saying it's wrong, but it works, is to find out the top dead center position of this flywheel and it can be done with any two stroke machines like this or any four strokes actually so the first thing i'm going to do is remove the spark plug fingers and thumbs I'm trying to keep this arm out of the way of the camera that's right so get the spark plug out and I've got here a piston stop which I've made some years ago I've used it on different bikes and the idea of this is you, you screw it into the spark plug hole and it will stop the piston and if we can adjust that so it stops just before top dead center we can then mark the flywheel um, and mark it opposite a mark we've done on, already on the crankcase can be anywhere and then if we turn it around the opposite way until it stops again and we remark the flywheel then the point in between those two marks is spot on the top dead centre so it means you haven't got to put a stick down here and can't try and guess it because it's quite a bit of ineffective crank angle and um, this, whereas this is spot on and it's, and it's quite easy so I'm going to just make sure that piston's out of the way there we go screw the stop in until it stops there we go and then I'm going to unscrew the stop until it until the piston will move there we are now back it off a little bit and move that in so that stops so what i'm doing is i'm making sure that the gap between the two marks isn't too big um so that's nearly at top dead center so you then mark i'll use the little sharpie some might argue it's a bit thick but um it's okay. i'm pretty sure that's fine i've seen other people use a mark uh, sharpie i've marked the sharpie a little mark there on the actual crankcase you could you could put a big bigger mark here if you i didn't want to had the mark over on the silver paint or you can make up a little pointer that comes off of these screw holes if you want but I've just done that for now and I've turned that until it's um, stopped and now what I'll do well I'm not going to do it because I've already done this is already set up but you then mark the flywheel so that it's opposite and make sure you're looking dead on so now Imagine we've got a line marked on there. You then turn this the opposite way around and it will stop. And you do another mark. So you end up with two, two marks on the flywheel. And then using a pair of dividers, you can um, put the points in the middle of the two marks. Get a ruler. I haven't got it here. <laughs> I've put it back already. Get a ruler and mark. So it's just say that was 20. It's not going to be spot on that, it'll be 20.5 or something like that, or whatever it'll be, half it. So you then make that 10, and you put one half on one of the little scribes, and give it just a little mark like that, and then round the other way, and then where the two marks um, join, that is spot on, top dead centre. So you can then use your Sharpie, and put a new line all the way down there, which is the line I've got here, from where I did it earlier. So I now know when I line this up here, with that out, take that out, 
out. In, in that position there, that is top dead center. Smack on. So now what I've got to do is we want this to fire at 1.8 millimeters before top dead center. A lot of bikes are working like the little quick clean, what have you, and Lambretters. It's um, done in degrees. But the uh, the measurement spec specified in the book here is, is millimeters. So it's not a problem. But what I have had to do for this is make another little tool out of an old spark plug. I've knocked all the innards out of it and cut off the electrode, the earthing electrode, if you like. Um, and then I've put a piece of biro in here. It can't be anything. I was looking for a bit of a steel rod, actually. This is a bit of biro pen. And then I've, I've um, glued that in with some filler, body filler. So um, if I now screw this in, and it's been nicked up, I can use my vernears, or my vernears, I call them vernears. Um, so what I want to do is set this up to top dead center. So I'm lining up my marks now, which I've just put on there. So they're lined up lovely, lovely. And I can use the very nears and just slowly go down, keeping it on the flywheel in case it moves until they stop. That's stopped there. I'll just check my marks again. They haven't moved. I can now lock this up. There you go that out carefully that's locked up I can zero it that's top dead center um, I was going to turn it out but it doesn't matter we can leave it in for now so now what I've got to do I've got to go back 1.8 1.8 1 mil nearest damn it there we are 1.8 Unlock that up. Actually, you do need to leave it in there. Silly ass. So now, the next thing is I'm going to move that back off of top dead center. Put this back in. And I want to move the piston via the crankshaft, like this, up until I feel it stop, stop on there. There we go. It just starts lifting it. That's it, we can hold that, because it's clamped, I can hold that in quite hard. And it just sits on there nicely. And then I mark my new position. Um, so you mark on the, on the flywheel here, which I've already done previously, another mark, lining up with the, the mark on the crankcase. Now we have our timing marks. So we can get this out of the way. I can get this out of the way now, don't need that. And the next thing to do is put the spark plug back in and fit our strobe. So we fit that towards the spark plug like that. Get the wires off of here. Connecting some 12 volt battery. Now, with the ignition on, I keep leaving that on so I've bloody flattened the battery now. Not that it matters for setting up the timing on this bike, because you don't need a battery. So if I now spin that round with, uh, what is this now? It's a 19 mil socket. You should see a spark there. There she is, nice spark. And if I use the strobe and spin it round, You can see that that's actually cock on. So I'll get you down. I'm not sure I can hold everything. Let's have a look. If I can lean that in there. No, I can't. But it was it was cock on the lines when it came round with my strobe. The line was like that. So we know the time is spot on. All I've got to do now 
is check the gap because to get the maximum spark out of the um, coil, uh, out of the magneto, you need the, the um, points to be a certain gap, and it's between spark plug and ignition. Um, oh, what was it now? It was between twelve and sixteen thou, which is point three to point four of a millimeter. And if that's out, you won't get your maximum. Um, I think it's called magne magnetic flux. So you won't get the maximum spark. So if I now check this gap, if we put this back onto the top dead center, that would be the gap, the uh, points would be fully open. And I get my little feeder gauge, and I've already checked it. And it was on, I had both feeder gauges, and 12 just slides in lovely. So you just get this in here and it just slides in nicely. I had already cleaned the points actually, but that slides in lovely. So we're happy with that. Um, if the timing was out on this bike, you adjust the points to get the timing back. A lot of bikes has a little, um, you can slide the back plate. Um, which which is okay, which is normal way of doing it actually. But this seems to be built like this. I don't know. They say if it if the time is out, and you can't get it with the points gap being in that tolerance. You need a new set of points, which makes sense. Uh, the points run on a cam, which is on the inside of this flywheel, um, and that the little heel on the points can wear away, especially if you've not got any oil or any grease on the cam. There is a little oiling pad in there which I oiled earlier. Uh, when I had this flywheel off uh, last week, I should have just run some grease around there, but I'd forgotten. So um, I had to get my oil can, and I poked the oil can in there. Got it spot on the felt, there's a little felt you have to go through here. So it was a bit awkward with using the torch. And I just put a couple of drops on there. So we know that the, um, the cam has got some oil on it. We should stop the heel of the point swearing down. So, if that was worn down or the points were burnt, if the capacitor were starting to pack up and the points were burnt, it would put the uh, change the gap and it would put the timing out. New set of points, set it up like this, um, and you're there. So, that's it really. Um, I should put this bike back together. And I've got a few little uh, more jobs to do on it, but um, that's, the, that's the timing checked. Hope that makes sense to you all. Bye for now.